She's trapped. You better be right. Ordentlich du die Frau mit, Therese. Now come. Do your duty and return to our wedding. If I can't marry the one I love, then I'll never marry at all. I command you! Stay where you are! Stupid girl, what do you think you're doing? I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago. I'm getting away from you. This time you'll never catch me again. Ever! No! Cut! That was pathetic. Where's Ben? What's the problem? The problem is that the dummy looks like a dummy. It is a dummy. I know it's a dummy, but it's supposed to fall like it's a person. I mean, look at it. It didn't even sink. It's just floating around like some cheap plastic doll. No. No, darling, it's actually quite accurate. Bodies do float in real life. It's, it's the air inside them, you see, and... Daddy, you're missing the point. This is a film. It's not real life. If we want to save this castle, we have to show the drama, not give people a biology lesson. Yes, yes, of course, darling. All right, let's try this again. And this time, can we please put some weight in the dummy? Lily, I have to get something to eat. I'm starving. Honestly, Sam, can't you hold it for 20 more minutes? No one else is hungry. I am. <laughs> Me too. I'm famished. I'm sorry, sweetie, but I have to go too. It's nearly three and we've got tourists coming in. I don't believe it. All right, anyone who feels like filling their stomachs is more important than this film, feel free to leave now. Traitors! Here, Lily. Relax, you're too stressed. What am I gonna do, Marcus? What's wrong with these people? Well, it has been eight hours since they've eaten. Eight hours? What's eight hours? Don't they know we have a crisis on our hands? Don't they understand that what I'm doing is for them? You're an artist, Lily. Artists are always misunderstood. Tim Marcus, thank goodness someone around here cares. Can I get you something to eat? Right now, I couldn't even look at food. Okay. Maybe a salad. A few bits of lettuce or something. No problem. And pasta? A small bowl on the side would be lovely. With bread, of course. And a couple of eggs. But make sure they've boiled for at least five minutes. Got it. And a cake. But just a small one. It'll never work. What? This film. It's doomed. Do you have to be so positive? I am positive. Positive bits of turkey. In case you're interested, although I understand completely if you aren't, Mr. Smarty Pants here is my non-identical twin brother, Ben. Actually, non-identical seriously understates it. No one could be less like me than Ben. Sometimes I can't even believe we're brother and sister, let alone twins. Why won't it work? Who's gonna pay good money to watch a second-rate amateur video about a princess no one's ever heard of and no one cares about? Apart from that? There is no apart from that. There doesn't need to be an apart from that. This whole thing is a waste of time. Well, do you have any better ideas? Do you have any ideas? Uh, give me time. I've only been here a week. That's still no reason to criticise the only person who's so far come up with something. Good enough reason for me. You know, Ben, you really shouldn't take such a... Oh, negative. Sophie, wait. Let me help. It's OK, I can manage. In Australia, it's against the law not to help beautiful girls. <laughs> and which lucky dude gets his fodder prepared by the fairest hands in all Germany? Pardon? Who's it for? I think it's mine. Marcus? Uh, since when did you develop such a huge appetite? It's for Lily. All this is for Lily? Directing a film takes enormous energy, you know? Physically, emotionally, it's like running a marathon. Yeah, with all this inside her, she could run to Africa. <laughs> Take good care of it, my man. It's been personally prepared by a very close and dear friend of mine. <laughs> Look out! Right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. <gasps> what am I gonna tell Lily? By now you're probably thinking that this is the kind of place where very little goes right, right? Well, you'd be wrong. The truth is, nothing goes right. You don't believe me? Okay, check this out. Here coming, everyone. Welcome to the home of the Van Hasbos where history meets the present, and the present meets history. Come along, everyone. Don't be shy. <laughs> Our castle ghosts are really quite tame. <laughs> Come along. 
castle tour awaits. Where's everyone else? Walter, I, I pay you good money to bring busloads of tourists up here from the town. Two people are not a busload. No one else wanted to come. Of course people wanted to come. But they have to be told we're here, don't they? Did you hand out the leaflets? Did you display the poster? Did you talk to people? Sure. So? Where are they? Well, that's them. No one else was interested. Incredible. What's happening to this country? Doesn't anyone believe in culture, in, in history anymore? I, I, I'm sorry about the delay. I'm sure you're both very eager for the two to get underway. Ten euro seats, please. Ten? You said five. What? The driver said it was five euros each. Why are you telling people the tickets are five euros? You know very well they cost ten. Well, I had to drop the price. Otherwise, even they wouldn't come. Walter, you and I are going to have a serious talk later. <laughs> I'm sorry. I completely forgot that today is our, our special mid-month discount day. Five euros each, please. It's not mid-month. I'm sorry? Today's the fourth. Why would you have a mid-month discount on the fourth? Well, you got the prices of the tickets wrong, you got the dates wrong. Does, does anyone know how to do math around here? As you may know, the, the castle was built by the von Hasenburgs. They had a special family tradition of celebrating the middle of the month on the fourth. What a stupid idea. Can you believe that? <laughs> Trust me, they did. Five euros each, please. Thank you. After you. So, are you beginning to get a feeling about this place? Which, I guess, leads to the next question. How did two basically normal teenagers from the Australian suburbs end up in a place like this? Uh, uh, ow. <laughs> Don't you think we should call a doctor? No, no, it's fine. No doctor could give better treatment than you, Sophie. Are you sure? Positive. A couple of hours in your care and I'll be perfect. <laughs> better than perfect. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. How did one basically normal teenager, along with a totally shameless brother, end up in a place like this? The answer to that coincides with one of my many hugely optimistic attempts to create the next global smash hit. deep in your soul? What kind of a line is that? I think it's a good line. Oh, you do? So what does it mean? Well, she's really into him, but she's not sure he's being completely open with her, so she's trying to reach him on a deeper level, right? Yeah, but his soul, I mean, it's not like some sort of a, a bucket she can just reach into. You are so literal-minded. Welcome to a typical Saturday afternoon in my LBE. That's life before Europe. My best friends, Lucy and Jack, are helping me write another one of our so far not hugely appreciated songs. I sit here and write the lyrics while they argue about them and try and come up with the tunes. It looks chaotic, mainly because it is. But it's kind of fun and sometimes we even actually finish a song. We don't Fine. write based on opinion polls, we write based on what we feel. That's exactly what I'm saying. Then why didn't you just say that? I just did. Excuse me, creative ones. You cannot interrupt now. We are almost there. That's what you said two weeks ago. How come I'm still hearing the same tune? Ben, you can't rush creativity. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry, guys, but creativity's gonna have to go on hold. Mum wants to see us. What for? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't have to drag you out here, would I? Since when does Mum ask to see us? If she's got something to say, she just drops it on us at dinner or something. Stop sounding so paranoid. She probably just wants to tell us how fabulous we are. <laughs> In your dreams. Sorry to pull you away from your friend, Sam, but we need to have a small talk. What's the problem? There's no problem. Quite the reverse, actually. I've won the lottery! What? what? That's unbelievable! How much did you get? Not that lottery. A much better one. There's a better one? 
Will you stop teasing? What's going on? That research grant in Switzerland I applied for, it's come through. Oh, Brian, that's amazing. Cool. How good is that? Four whole months for me to be up close and personal with some of the planet's nastiest microbes. Maybe not so cool. Get out. It'll be a research scientist's paradise. Yes, we are going to have a great time. Oh, sorry, did you say we? That's right. I'm going too. <laughs> we haven't had a holiday together for years. It'll be a second honeymoon. In a laboratory? It's in paradise. Have you ever seen a prettier little town than this? Wow. It's gorgeous. I'm almost jealous. This calls for a celebration. Let's break out those chocolates you got for your birthday. Hey, get your hands off uh, those. Hang on a minute, you two. Aren't you forgetting something? As in? As in how this will affect you two? Oh, you don't have to worry about us. You just go and have a good time with the bugs. And we'll look after the house as if it's our own. It is our own. I know that. You know what I mean. Yeah, we do. But we'd also like you to have a seat while we explain. Explain what? We know how capable you both are, but unfortunately the law doesn't permit people of your age to live on your own. Especially for four months. You're not going to get someone to come and look after us, are you? Honestly, we don't need that. We'd hate it. No, it's something much more exciting. Exciting? How exciting? Exactly. Germany. 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 Why Germany? We have this kind of distant cousin there. He's a relative of our father's. I didn't know Brian was German. Not Brian, a real father. Before he died, obviously. I still don't get it. Why send you all the way to Germany when you could just come and stay at my place? Oh, well, we could. Except the fact is, my dear Lucy, you've got no culture. Forget him, Luce. I'm sorry? It's true. Mum said so herself. She did not. And you are the last person to bag anyone about having no culture. Our parents think we need to escape the narrow, insular confines of parochial Australian suburbia. But we're not narrow and insular, are we? Don't ask me. I don't even know what that means. The point is, the tickets are booked, the stay's confirmed, everything's organised. But won't this cost a bomb? How will you pay for it? That's exactly what I asked. Won't this cost a bomb? How will you pay for it? Out of the savings for your education. But this isn't an education. You won't get a certificate for it, but you will get an education in a broader sense. What does that mean? That's exactly what I asked. What does that mean? You won't know till you've experienced it. Uh, you couldn't be a little more precise, could you? What if it's terrible? I don't want to experience something terrible. Oh, come on. It'll be an adventure. You're going to have more fun than you could possibly imagine. You know what? I hate to say this, but I'm actually envious. Lucy! I am. I'd love to spend four months in another country. I think it'd be amazing. Yeah, OK, but you don't need to say that. I mean, we are losing a songwriting partner here, you know? Oh, yeah, but not for a while, though. Like, when do you leave? The day after tomorrow? What? What are we going to do about our assignment? We're supposed to submit it in six weeks. Mum spoke to the school. They've agreed to an extension to the end of the year. She's thought of everything, hasn't she? Everything. Jack, Lucy and I do music class together. The good thing is that we can work on our songs. The bad thing is that we actually have to finish something in order to pass. We aren't exactly what you'd call great finishers. Four months is such a long time. It's gonna be hard without you around. But I will be around. We'll still talk, send notes, sort files. I'll still keep working on things while I'm away. But it won't be the same, though, will it? I'm so going to miss you. Me too. But hey, four months is nothing. Four months is just, well, you know. A lifetime. The thing about leaving for a trip quickly is that you don't have time to dwell on any sad feelings. Come to think of it, you don't have time to dwell on any feelings. Before we knew it, we were out the door and on our way to... Actually, we weren't really sure what we were on our way to. think it's going to be an adventure? It better be. Otherwise, we'll sue. <laughs> Not even you would sue your own mother. You're right. We'll trade her in for a new laptop. 
lot less paperwork. <laughs> So, here we are, one week into our adventure. At least, I think it's an adventure. It's definitely different to anything else I've ever done, that's for sure. Back to work, everyone. Lily wants to get started. Sorry, gotta go. When Princess Lily calls, no one disobeys. Ben, that includes you. Please? Sorry, Marcus. I don't think I can make it. My head's killing me. Stand by for one of my brother's more embarrassing performances. You have to get the dummy ready for take two. I can barely move. It's okay, Ben. I'll help you. Are you sure? I hate to burden you. Honestly, it's not a problem. Here, lean on me. We'll go together. Comfortable? In your hands, I couldn't be anything else. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Service, please! Uh, it's okay. I'll be all right. You go. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Helping you. Yeah, put your armor on my shoulder. Actually, Marcus, my head's much better, thanks. So quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's an oxygen thing, you know? <laughs> now I'm full of it. You're full of it, all right? You are such a fake. Uh, Sam, I've just had a very traumatic experience. The least you could do is give me some sympathy. <laughs> yes, the crew are here, finally. What about Ben and Sam? Uh, they should be with you any minute. I don't want them here, Marcus. They're supposed to be up on the balcony. Where's Daddy? He's still with us tourists. We'll find him, will you, and tell him we need him now. On my way. Sam, why are you here? Uh, Marcus said Never to... mind. Why isn't Ben with you? He's gone to the loo. He's had the whole lunch break to go to the loo. Please, up on the balcony. All of you. Amateurs. I'm surrounded by amateurs. Oh, I'm sure this will interest you. The Princess Therese, in order to escape the clutches of the Duke of Saxony, threw herself off the castle walls into the moat below. Let us now move forward 50 years in time to when the von Hasenburgs became one of the most famous families in all Europe. You'll notice some extremely fascinating changes in the architectural styles. Here is a particularly marvelous example of what I'm talking about. Look at the detail in this ceiling. I'm sure you've never seen anything like this before. Hello? Hello? Look at this. <laughs> Who will help the princess in distress? Please hurry, we'll start to stay there soon. Have you seen the Baron? No, sorry. Are you sure we have enough tape left? Yeah, I'm sure. Where is everyone? Come here, my love. Oh, no, Eva Duke. I will never be yours. Uh, there's Sam now. Good. Stand by, please. Standing by. You haven't seen two particularly obnoxious looking teenagers, have you? No, no one. Pity. I was hoping they'd fall downstairs. Lily wants to shoot the next shot now. Are you ready? Why not? Roll camera. Rolling. Brilliant! Did you get it? Got it. That's what I call a real fall. Uh, I think that was a real fall. Help! Please! You have to help him, he can't swim! What? Fire, please! Take it easy, I've got the extra weights. You have to help the guy in the water. Help, please. I'm not doing that. Help. I'm not even in costume. Forget the film, he can't swim. You have to help him, hurry. Help. That's help. I can't swim, please. This is getting better and better. Are you getting all this? Getting here. Please help, help. Please 
This rescue isn't historically true. Marcus, it's the drama of the history that matters, not the facts. Is that really ethical? Who cares? Everyone else does it. Stop being such a fuddy-duddy, Marcus. I can't believe it. This is more than we could hope for in our wildest dreams. I'm afraid not, darling. That ghastly boy's father is one of Germany's top lawyers. He says he's going to sue us for everything we own and have me sent to prison. What? He says it's our fault that he fell. It wasn't our fault. He shouldn't even have been on the balcony. Unfortunately, he doesn't see it that way. This is terrible. What can we do? Leave it to me. I'll talk to him. Good stuff, Ben. You were great. <laughs> Not bad for a faker, eh? Well, you have to admit, you were laying it on pretty thick with Sophie. Sure. But you can't blame me for trying. You're terrible. You know that, don't you? Nobody's perfect. <laughs> so, we have a deal then? Okay. <laughs> what happened? What did he say? There won't be any problems. <laughs> but how can you be so sure? I pointed out that he's now the star of the climax to a film that will be seen for many years to come. He agreed to drop charges if we provide him with a free copy of the film once it's finished. Well, that's... that's brilliant! Thank you. Marcus, I had no idea you could be so forceful. I'm truly impressed. Thank you. When will the film be finished, by the way? Oh, this year, next year, maybe the one after. You can't risk creativity, Marcus. So, welcome to our world for the next four months. The question is, can we survive it? There's only one answer to that. Watch this space. Look up to the ocean, look up to the stars. Now all of what you believe when there seems no hope. You can still believe, still believe in your dreams. In your dreams. In your dreams. In your dreams. Parachute jump is always the best parachute jump. I guess that's why I was so excited the day we first arrived here. Not that we were actually parachuting anywhere, but we were chalking up some seriously major firsts. I mean, like, it's our first time in a foreign country, our first time in a real life castle, and our first time living away from home. Oh, yeah, and it was also the first time we'd ever been away from our parents for so long. I miss them already. Hey, they'll only be in Switzerland. We should have never agreed to this. Four months is way too long. Don't prejudge things. You're always jumping to conclusions before you give things a proper chance. Think positive. I hate positive. Positive is for losers. Now then, shall we move inside? We'll take you to your rooms and then show you around. Thanks, that'd be nice. Oh, uh, Mum asked me to give you this. Excuse me, Baron. A message from Sophie. There's a man at the cafe who wishes to meet you. Honestly, Marcus, I can't be expected to attend everyone who comes through the gate. Tell Sophie to say I'm busy. She gave me his card. Some tires, some tourist. The bank manager? The new one? He arrived in town yesterday. Why didn't you tell me it was him? I just did. He must be here to discuss the loan we've asked for. If we don't get it, we're in serious trouble. Daddy, he's a simple bank manager. Of course he'll give us the loan. We're from Hasenburgs. You're right. Still, it's important to make a good impression. Darling, I'll leave our guests with you. Um, Baron von Hasenburg? Yes, yes. I'll get it later, then. Don't mind, Daddy. Little things like money always stress him. I hope we haven't come at a bad time for you. Oh, we always have money problems. Owning a castle's very expensive, you know. No, I didn't know. <laughs> we haven't owned very many. <whistles> Joke. <laughs> Not a very good one, I know. Uh, but they'll be better, though, once the jet lag wears off. Right. Let's go to your rooms. Great. Sure. I'll leave those. Marcus will take care of them. Won't you, Marcus? Uh, can do. I'll just take my laptop. It's my lifeline. Can't better be away from it. Shall we? Good morning, good morning. Philip von Hasenburg at your service, sir. Welcome to our humble little home. I'm delighted to meet you. Uh, thank you. And I'm pleased to meet you too, Baron. <laughs> 
Sophie, two coffees, two table three straight away, will you? Oh, Baron, could I just... Straight up, wait. Yes, sir. Now, I'm sure you want to get straight down to discussing our finances, right? Why, yes. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> this is some place you've got. It's home. A real castle. I can't believe we're actually going to live here. How cool is this going to be? When was it built? Oh, it dates back to the 12th century, but most of what you see now was constructed about 200 years ago. <laughs> so, roughly as old as Sam's sense of fashion. But not nearly as old as some of Ben's jokes. <laughs> Maybe I should help Marcus with the luggage. Nonsense. You're right, aren't you, Marcus? Fine, thanks. How many rooms are there? Oh, no idea. I've never counted them. So you don't use them all, then? Heavens no. What would we do with them? Don't you provide holiday accommodation to foreign students? We had one a couple of years ago. He played his music so loud that Daddy told him to leave. He's banned students ever since. Uh, but how come he's letting us stay? Your family. Daddy always makes exceptions for family. We're a very distant family, about ten times removed. That doesn't matter. There's so few von Hasen books left that Daddy's thrilled to have anyone who's related. Even Australians. This is your room, Ben. Thanks. It's, um, yeah. And you're in here, Sam. Thanks. It'll be fine, I'm sure. The bathroom's around the corner. You don't mind sharing? No, not at all. Finally, Marcus. I was beginning to think you got lost. Sorry, nearly there. I'll give you some time to unpack, and then we'll meet up later to see the castle, OK? Great. Thanks so much. No problem. So, um, are you part of the family here too, Marcus? Me? No. I'm just here for work experience. Really? What kind of work experience? Personal assistant to the Baron. And Lily, of course. Marcus, can you hurry it up? Coming. It's... Better go. See you later. Sure. Thanks again, Marcus. These rooms are like prison cells. What's your problem? They spent a zillion bucks to build a castle, but the rooms are like some cheap outback hotel. 300 years ago, this was the outback. Okay, well, if this is the best they could do, it's no wonder there's no aristocracy anymore. They all died of boredom staring at their walls. So I can assure you that with just a small amount of help from the bank, our financial future is definitely rosy. In the pink, as they say. <laughs> you paint a very convincing picture, Baron. Oh, it's wonderful to meet a man of your understanding. <laughs> now, I expect you'd like me to show you around the castle. That would be very nice. Are you sure you have the time? I'm entirely at your disposal. Excellent. <laughs> oh, uh, Baron von Hasenburg, could I please have a word? Excuse me a moment. Yes, what is it? I was hoping you could take us on a tour of your castle now. I'm sorry? Oh, just a brief one, if that's all right. So, sir, would like a tour, would he? Yeah, very much. Anything else? A butler to accompany us with a tray of drinks? A nurse made for the children? Perhaps some slaves to carry your wife in a chair? Oh, I don't think... Exactly. People these days never think. Look, there'll be an official tour starting in three hours. Tickets are available for 10 euros each. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. Uh, Sophie. What are you doing with those? You told me to take them to the Australians. Oh, yes, but be back here as quick as you can. Is there something in your eye, Baron? No. I want you to keep a close eye on that family there. They're a bunch of freeloaders. Oh, but Baron... I know their type. They'll go all around the castle, then sneak out without paying. But, sir... Trust me, Sophie. The one thing I know about is people. I can smell cheats a mile away. Yes, sir. And make sure they buy their tickets. We need every euro we can get. Yes, sir. We shall pay for the coffee. Well, pay? Oh, don't be silly. What's a few euro, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. This is seriously bad news. There's no way I can spend four months in there. Stop stressing. It'll be fine once you get all your things in place. It's all so dull. Then ask if you can put some pictures on the walls. And so cramped. I can die of claustrophobia. You've got a whole castle to romp around. 
What more do you want? seen someone do a complete U-turn in five seconds flat, but if you haven't, then stand by. And I should warn you, this won't be a pretty sight. Uh, hi, Ben and Sam, right? I'm Sophie, I work at the cafe here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hi, Ben. Hi, I'm Ben. I think I figured that. Ha, ha. I guess it is pretty obvious. Great to meet you, Sophie. Terrific, really good. It's nice to see you're such a positive person. You bet. Positive is my middle name. You want positive? It doesn't get more positive than me. Great. Ben, why don't you let go of Sophie's hand so she can give us the towel she's gone to so much trouble to bring here? Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. I'm afraid some of these old rooms might be a bit boring. No, no, no. It'll be fine once I start putting my things in place. But it's so dull. Nothing a few pictures on the wall can't fix. And so cramped, I hope you don't die of claustrophobia. No way! Not when we have a whole castle to romp around. You really are positive, aren't you? It'll be fun having you both here. You can count on it. <sighs> well, guess I'd better start knocking the old room into shape then. Sounds like a positively positive thing to do, Ben. Do you think all brothers are like that, or is it just Ben? <laughs> Don't answer that. It's just Ben. Sorry we kept you. We went the wrong way. Got completely lost. And I was just finding my way back from the bathroom. <laughs> I thought we'd start with the gardens first. Perfect. It's exactly how I would do it. Not that I've ever taken anyone through a castle before. Not that I've ever been in a castle before. But if I had, and I did, then I would. Ben? Yeah? Shut up. Right. Please, follow me. Galaxies away tonight We'll go beyond our space and time Touch the stars, the moon is ours And gravity will pull us down Feel a little weightlessness As we approach the upper west On a mission to are members of the family. They go back nearly four centuries. Wow, that's some tradition. Lots of soldiers. Your family big on fighting? In the old days, there was always some sort of war going on. People had to be strong. I can see that. This one looks as tough as old boot leather. That's my mother. <laughs> Actually, what I meant was uh, this picture frame. <laughs> this frame is so tough. I mean, can you believe it, Sam? No, Ben, I can't believe it. Amazing, and what an attractive woman. I can really see where you get your looks from, Lily. Ben? Yeah? Can you do something useful? Like, find the nearest cliff to jump off? <laughs> and that about wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed our little tour. It's been most instructive. Thank you very much indeed. Baron von Hasenburg. Good grief. This fellow just won't go away. Uh, please, I really must have a quick word. It won't take long. I'm so sorry about this. Go ahead, Baron von Eisenberg. I've taken enough of your time. I'll find my own way out. Are you sure? Absolutely. Thank you again. My pleasure. I look forward to a long and productive relationship. Huh? <laughs> what is it, man? And where's your family? I hope those children aren't running around unsupervised. Any breakages must be paid for, you know? It's all right. My wife's putting them back in the car. We're about to leave. Excellent. Look, I know how busy you are, but... Baron von Hassenberg. Baron, there's an urgent call for you. Yes, yes, I'll be there in a minute. 
It's the police, sir. Police? They said it's very important. Whatever it is you wanted, we'll have to wait, I'm afraid. Now, if you'll excuse me. What could the police possibly want with us? They say there's a con man in the area. A con man? Apparently, he's very clever. He's tricked all sorts of people into giving him their valuables. Ha! Any fraudster who tries to trick the von Hasenburgs will get more than he bargains for. A lot more. So, your mother, how does she enjoy living in a castle? She thinks it's a gloomy old tomb. She has a flat in town. Oh. Besides, she and Daddy always argue when they live in the same place. Since Mummy moved, they get along so much better. They're really happy now. Really? And I get the fun of living in two homes. Summer up here and winter in town. What could be better? Sounds cool. <laughs> um, should I show you how to connect to the internet? That'd be great. Thanks, Marcus. Something wrong? Ben, did you move my laptop? Why would I do that? It's gone. I left it right there on the desk. Someone must have stolen it. Marcus, get Daddy. Hurry. You were right to be concerned, Sophie. The police think that Frostam might be headed this way. Oh, really? Now, it's nothing to be worried about, but if you see anyone suspicious looking, come and get me straight away. Yes, sir. Excuse me, Baron. Lily needs you to come quickly. Honestly, as if I don't have enough to deal with. How will I know if someone looks suspicious? What? What exactly does a suspicious person look like? Well, well, they... The thing to notice is that when you look at them, they never look you in the eye. If you see someone like that, be on your closest guard. Right. This is outrageous. When did you discover this? Two minutes before you got here. All my music data and software's on it. Everything my friends and I have been working on for months. We better notify the police immediately. Whoever took it might still be... Still be what? Scumbag! I was only asking. It's him! I knew it! As soon as I saw him, I knew he was trouble. He's been pestering me all morning to show him the castle. Clearly, he just wanted to see what he could lay his grubby hands on. And when Lily was showing us around, I saw him in the courtyard. But I didn't think much of it at the time, but he was acting really strangely, like he was looking for someone. Huh. Or something. And then I saw him run inside the doorway, the one leading to our rooms. Obviously to commit theft. What can we do? There's not a moment to lose. Marcus, I want you to take a message to that fellow. The rest of you come with me. We'll soon see who has the last laugh. Excuse me? Yes, what is it? Baron von Hasenburg apologizes for the inconvenience he's caused you today. He asks if he could meet with you now. Oh, thank you, but I think I've had quite enough of Baron von Hasenburg's hospitality for one day. He said he'd very much like to meet with you as soon as he finishes counting the money. The money? He's very old-fashioned, you know. He likes to keep most of his cash here in the castle. He doesn't trust banks. Really? It won't take long. And we can provide transport back to town for you. Go ahead, darling. I text the children. See you at home. I'll be as quick as I can. Now, Ben, you know what to do? Yes. Suddenly, I've got a wheezy feeling in my stomach. It seemed like a good idea before when we were all fired up, but catching criminals isn't really my thing. I mean, what if the guy's a complete nutcase or something? Are you really sure about this man, Daddy? Darling, I know a crook when I see one, and he's as crooked as a bent nail. It's just through here, sir. Quick, everybody in position. And act naturally. Baron von Hasenburg. My dear fellow, how kind of you to come. I must say, I find this all very irregular. Oh, oh, don't worry. Everything will be clear in a moment. Come in. I believe you prefer to keep the money here rather than in the bank. Yes, it's there in the corner. Is it? Where? Look closely, and you'll see how secure it is. No! What's going on? So you thought you could trick us, did you? Just walk in and take whatever possessions you like from right on our noses. What are you talking about? Using those breaths of yours to present yourself as a family man was very clever. I admit it. I was almost fooled for a minute, but the game's up, my friend. We know who you are. You are crazy. Let me out of here. I'll get used to it if I were you. You'll be spending a lot more time behind bars from now on. Baron von Hausenberg? The police emailed a picture of the con man. He was at the castle. And he's still here. Safely locked away. Con man? What con man? Oh, let me refresh your memory. Familiar? No? The face you see in the mirror every day of your miserable little life. I've only ever seen it this morning. <laughs> really? Yes, when you were showing me around the castle. Exactly. 
I what? Sophie, why have you given me the picture of the bank manager? He's the bank manager. Him? I tried to tell you earlier, but you're too busy being nice to that con... that man. My laptop case! Oh, sorry. Where did you find it? He gave it to me. He did? I found it in the garden on my way to the car. It looked valuable, so I took it back to the cafe and handed it to the young lady there. My laptop's missing. What happened to it? Well, I'm sorry. That was all I found. You're the bank manager? That's why I was trying to speak to you all the time. But the wife, the children. Well, as it was our first meeting, I thought we'd combine a little business with pleasure. Get to know each other. <laughs> you didn't really think... to faint. What? There's nothing to worry about. He always does it when things don't work out. Here, yeah, Baron. Thank you, Marcus. Well, overall, I'm afraid to say your finances aren't exactly strong, Mr. Van Hasenburg. But if your bank can give us the loan we're asking for, I'm certain we have an excellent future ahead. Well, a new loan will be very difficult. You still owe 3,000 on your previous one. 3,000? Now, which is due to be repaid at the end of this week. This week? OK, having helped dig everyone into this hole, maybe I can at least start helping them climb back out of it. Oh, uh, Baron? What is it, then? The letter from Mum. Oh, please. Now isn't the time to... We really think you should open it, Baron. <laughs> I'm sure your mum's sentiments are very nice, but... 4,000 euros? Mum and Dad wanted to help towards the cost of our stay here. If you don't think it's enough, then we... No! No, thank you. It's absolutely enough. Don't you think so, Mr. Schwarzer? Well, it sounds like it's more than enough. So you'll give us the loan? I can't see why not. But I will need a business plan. Business plan? We could use my business plan, sir. Yours? The one I sent to you as part of my application for the position here. Oh. Do you mean this? Couldn't understand a word of it. Is this really the sort of thing he wants? Shall I give it to him? We don't have anything else. Do what you must. I'm sure you'll find everything you need in here, sir. Cash flow projections, a summary of the castle's financial strengths and weaknesses, and proposals for increasing and diversifying revenue streams for the future. Excellent. This is exactly what we need. Baron von Hasenburg, I look forward very much to doing business with you. Oh, thank you. A and about the mix-up with you and your delightful children. Oh, please, think no more about it. And I do hope you get your computer back. Thanks. I'm really sorry about, you know, accusing you of... Oh, well, not at all. It was a very understandable mistake. Right now, I don't know whether to be angry or sad. Angry that I made such a fool of myself by accusing an innocent man of stealing, or sad that my laptop's gone and I'm in seriously deep doo-doo. Whatever way you look at it, this has not been Samantha Hazelton's finest day. The taxi's gone. Mr. Schwartz is safely on his way. Thank goodness. At least we managed to get that right. And have you been to your room yet, Sam? No. Should I? I think you most definitely should. Well, what do you think? I don't believe it! Who? How? The police brought it back. They called the call man on his way into town after I called them. <laughs> you called them. But how did you know it was him? You told me. I did? You said to be suspicious of anybody who didn't look me in the eye. Aha! Uh -huh. And he didn't, right? No, he did. When he ordered a coffee this morning, he kept looking straight into my eyes. It was really weird. So when I saw him leaving, I thought about what you said and called the police. So it was actually the reverse of what I said. But, Daddy, it was so terribly clever of you to think of that whole idea in the first place. Oh, yes. I suppose it was, wasn't it? Sophie, you're brilliant. Thank you so much. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but all this defending of truth and justice has made me hungry. Any chance of a pie and sauce around here? No, but I'm sure we can run to Sauerbraten and Knödel. I don't know what that is, but if it's food, I'm up for it. Right. Follow me, everyone. 
So, Ben, still think we shouldn't have come here? Me? I never thought that for a second. Honestly, Sam, where do you get these weird ideas from? <laughs> hey, Sophie, that was really cool work. Well done. Well, there you go. Crime solved, bank loan fixed, Ben happy to stay here. And me? Well, after my little effort, I promise never again to criticise Ben for jumping to conclusions. What am I saying? Of course I'll criticise him. He's my brother, isn't he? Look up to the ocean, look up to the stars. Now all about you believe in this scene. There's no host. You can still believe, still believe in your dreams. In want to come here. Lily's called us together for a crisis meeting. It's the third crisis meeting this week. Lily loves a good crisis meeting. In fact, if there isn't a crisis meeting, then Lily goes into a state of complete crisis. So, what suggestions do you have? <laughs> Don't be shy. Feel free to suggest anything. Big ideas aren't that easy to come by, darling. Daddy, we're von Hasenburgs. We've always had big ideas. Look at Otto von Hasenburg. He built the local town. Werner von Hasenburg, he gave people electricity. And Wilhelm von Hasenburg fought the invading armies of Napoleon. Unfortunately, he lost. Yes, but at least it was a big loss. Come on, be creative. No idea is too crazy. Well, we could turn the castle into a theme park. That's a crazy idea. Sorry, stupid. The big pineapple. The what? When Australian country towns want to get themselves noticed, they build something big. Like a big pineapple. Ben, I don't think this... No, no, it works every time. There's the big banana. The big guitar. The big prawn. How exactly do these big things work, Ben? Uh, uh, when people drive along and look out their windows, uh, they say, oh, look, there's the big prawn. <laughs> And then what happens? They keep driving. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is useless. I must say I'm very disappointed. If this is the best we can do, we might as well give up. Just close the castle and walk away. Never! We, we must find new ways to make extra money. I'm sure we can do it. Good. Then I suggest we go away, think really hard, and let's have some really good ideas tomorrow. Marcus? We just need those extra lyrics and then I can finish it. But I need them fast, Sam. Yeah, we don't hand in our first three completed songs by Monday. We're toast. OK, I'll get them to you by tonight, I promise. So, how's it going over there? Are you having a good time? Kind of. Kind of? What's the problem? The cost of maintaining this castle is enormous. They're desperate for ideas on how to pay for it. Oh, you could turn it into a theme park. <laughs> I don't think they want to go there. Oh, gotta go, Sammy. Talk soon. Bye, guys. Oh, and if you get any inspiring ideas on how to make money from a seriously ancient castle... I'm all ears, right? Do we get a commission? Is that something good? Forget he said that, Sam. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Now. I know how much we all love new challenges. Ugh. Thank you. But here's an exceptionally good one. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. What is this, sir? This is a public response form. Response to what? Well, to your songs, of course. What kind of response, exactly? Well, it's a chance for you to get someone else's opinion on your music. Let's face it, you're always telling me how old-fashioned my tastes are. Yes, but you're our teacher. We expect your tastes to be old-fashioned. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> I'm pleased that you're so forgiving with my limitations. So, what I mean is, um, 
What do I mean, Lucy? <laughs> what he means, Mr. Brearley, is that you know us, so you can judge how we're going, if we're improving. Other people don't know that, that stuff. Precisely. You see, other people are going to hear your songs and judge them purely on their merit, not on who wrote them. But it's too easy to rig the answers. We can just ask our families to say it's great. And if they don't, we can threaten to trash the house. <laughs> if you look at the rules, you'll notice that no family members are allowed to participate. You have to get 30 independent listeners. 30? 30, Jack. And I'll be checking the people on your list to make sure they're real so you can't fake it. Uh, there is no way we can do that by Monday. Which is why I'm giving you 10 days for it. Thank you, Mr. Burley. But what if people don't like our music? Does that mean we fail? <laughs> Not at all. Some of the best music of all time was savaged when it first came out. So then what's the point? The point is, Jack, to get some honest feedback. <laughs> and who knows? Shocking as this may sound, you might even learn something. 30 people? How are we going to find 30 people? I don't even know 30 people. Maybe we could go down to the mall on Saturday and grab shoppers as they go by. Get real. It is murder down there on weekends. Besides, no one's going to stand around for 10 minutes while we force feed them pop songs. Oh, what about the football crowd? There's a home game this Sunday. We could get them as they leave. Yeah, that's even worse. I mean, if, if, if teams win, they just want to shout their dumb team songs, and if they lose, they're too depressed to talk to anyone. So I take it that's a no, then? Complete and total. Oh, just hang on a sec. I just got to pick some stuff up for Mum. Yeah. 30 people. Out of all of Mr. Breeley's loony ideas, this one takes the cake. OK, let's go. Look at this. Dance party. So? So there's our answer. We take the songs to the dance party, get the DJ to play them, and then survey the crowd. Couldn't be simpler. Cool. Yeah, see, I'm not just a pretty face. Pity you're not such a great reader, either. What do you mean? Saturday 16th was last weekend. Oh. Think the crowd would have left by now. People ever heard of use by dates? Shame. It was a good idea, though. Lucy, Jack's here. Now? Front door. Hi. You given up sleeping or something? I've got it. I hope it's not catching. Got what? The answer to everyone's problems. Pure genius. Why do I have the feeling life's about to start getting very complicated? Don't you want to hear what it is? Do I have a choice? No. Come on, then. You are going to love it. <laughs> I love it. See, I told you it was genius, didn't I? And you thought of this all by yourself? No, I jumped online and asked my 320 non-existent friends. OK, I'm sorry. But what about Sam? What if she doesn't buy it, or the Germans either? Why don't we ask? Jack, we can't ask her now. It's past midnight. It's daytime over there, Einstein. She's on the other side of the world, remember? Right. I... <laughs> I'm nearly done. Sorry it's taken so long. You'll have it in an hour, guaranteed. It's OK, Sam. We're not hassling you. We just need to talk. Talk? About what? And why are you two up so late? Don't panic. We've just had an idea, that's all. A dance party? A dance party? It was just an idea. You don't have to go for it. We just thought it might be worth considering. Kind of. <sighs> Poor old Sam. She really doesn't have much of an idea about business stuff. Trust me, this is going to go down like a lead balloon. I like it. You do? You do? Now, darling, please, let's not be too hasty here. Dance parties are not really our thing. There's so much that we need planning and discussing. So, let's discuss it. First, where do we get the music from? We'll supply it all. Where from? Easy. Well, uh, we'll download it from the music library at school. Someone has to be the DJ. We need someone cool. Someone who can rock the crowd. Ben could do it. Ben. Hey, remember how he DJed at Al Jackson's birthday party? <laughs> but he was hopeless. Exactly. He was so bad. He was good. Yeah, everyone loved him. <laughs> oh, hang on. I was just mucking around with a few friends. That's a lot different from doing it in front of 200 people. 200 people? Well, there's no one else who can do it. And the good thing is we don't have to pay you either. This is getting out of control. I'm going to have to put a stop to it right now. Look, just running a dance party isn't enough to draw a crowd these days. Good call, Ben. So, what can we do? Here is where I've had a seriously major brainwave. Oh, no. No way, guys. I know where you're going with this, and it won't work. It will, Sam. You just have to have faith in yourself. You're a singer? Sort of. A bit. <laughs> and you have three of your own songs you can perform that night? Only if you want. Look, just forget it. It wasn't such a great idea. I, I think Sam's right. 
These sorts of events really need to be run by professionals. We have no expertise in this at all. Daddy, we don't have expertise because we haven't done it before, right? So if we do do it, we'll get the expertise, won't we? I'm not at all sure about... I am. I think it's brilliant. So, all we have to do is decide on a date. No, we have to get it done in the next 10 days. 10 days? Any later and it won't count towards our results. Sorry, guys. There's no way they'll buy that. It's much too hard. It's impossible! It's easy! You can't organize this sort of thing in such a short time. The weekend after next is a public holiday. The timing is perfect. But Lily... Daddy. Are you saying you don't have confidence in my judgment? No, not at all, darling. I... So let me reward that confidence. Please? I know I'm going to regret this. And you won't. So everyone, let's get cracking. We have a dance party to organize. Uh, look, before we lock this off completely, would anybody like to hear my idea about the big suit of armor? <laughs> Just thought I'd ask. As we got closer to the day, I have to say the whole dance party idea didn't start to feel any better. Things weren't helped either by the fact that somehow all the really heavy jobs miraculously ended up with me and Marcus. Still, there were some compensations. Who wants a drink? <laughs> hey, Sophie, how's it going? I hear you're going to be our DJ for the party. What can I say? If my public calls, I must obey. I'd be so nervous having to do that. It's no big deal. You've seen one dance party, you've seen them all. You've had lots of experience then? Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> I've been around. You all right, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, sure. No worries. I'd better get back to the cafe. Bye, Ben. Great to see you, Sophie. Overall, I think that went pretty well. I think Sophie's starting to see me for who I really am. The most important thing now is the ticket sales. We have to make sure we get a really good crowd. Leave that to me. I have everything under control. Walter, I need to talk to you. Your dad seems so much more positive about things now. I know. I think he's up to something. Like what? Not sure, but I'm going to have to keep a very close eye on him. Lily, can I talk to you about something? Sure. When I packed for this trip, I wasn't expecting to be performing on stage, and I haven't really brought anything that I could... It's cool. Give me five minutes, and we'll go to Mother's. Mother's? Welcome to Mother's. Ah, now I get it. I thought we were going to your Mother's. We are. This is her shop. Oh, cool. That's strange. What? At last. I'd almost given you up and was about to close. Sorry, Mommy, but we've had so much to do back at the castle. Why did you remove the poster from the door? I didn't. Your father took it down this morning. He what? He said all the tickets had been sold. He didn't tell me that. Did you know it was a sellout? No, but that's good, isn't it? It should be good. It had better be good. Now, Lily, stop crumbling. You must be Sam. Delighted to meet you at last. You too, Baroness von Hasenberg. Please, call me Tina. It's much easier. <laughs> now, I've picked out a few things you might like to try on. I'll just go and get them. Thank you. Your mom sells some amazing stuff. I could spend my year's allowance in here. We'll have you looking great in no time. As soon as your friends send the music, we're ready to rock. Ben, it's no problem. This will give you tremendous creative flexibility. I don't want creative flexibility. I just want the music here, ready to play. And it will be. Lucy and I will be in the school music library directly connected to you online. Ben, if we just supply you with 100 songs off the bat, it mightn't work for the crowd you pull. I mean, what if we download hip-hop and a mob of heavy metal freaks turn up? Or a rap crowd? You'll be toast. Extremely burnt toast, and I'm way too young to go to a funeral, buddy, especially yours. Can I call my manager? What manager? The one I'm gonna hire so I don't have to do any more deals with you. Don't be like that, Benny boy. It'll work out fine, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye, Ben. Lucy says bye. Yeah, bye, guys. This whole thing is sounding dodgier by the minute. Why do I let myself get drawn into these wacko schemes of Sam and her loony mates? Sometimes I think I'm just too nice. Daddy, why are you putting chairs out? It's a dance party. People who dance on chairs usually break their legs. Uh, there's plenty of room left in the courtyard for dancing. These are just in case people want to sit and watch Sam perform. Oh, I suppose that's all right. You didn't tell me you sold out all the tickets. Ah, yes. Th that's because I wanted it to be a surprise. Yes. Uh, aren't you pleased? I think so. But I can't help feeling something's not quite right. Should I be concerned about anything, Daddy? Concerned? Never. Well, must be off. I have a lot of organizing to do, and the evening is almost upon us. 
Testing, testing. One, two. Get down and boogie, babes. It's time to fly on D for dance. <laughs> hey, very cool, Uncle Marcus. I hope you dudes saw that. We did. Awesome. Hey, uh, listen, any any chance the, the, the crowd will get there soon, like, before we freeze to death? Hey, who suggested staying up until 3 a.m.? Whose idea was it to provide creative flexibility? Not moi, Mr. Hip Hop Head. Okay, I, I was only asking. As it happens, I was just about to check out the very same thing. Give me five minutes, guys. Sophie. Ben, I was just coming to see you. Wow, you look fantastic. So do you. Yeah, these old threads. Ah, uh, the Baron called. Walt is arriving with the first bus load. He wants everyone on standby. On my way, Commander. Oh, I do have one request. Yes? That you save at least 20 dances for me. <laughs> well, I, I promise at least one. That's all I need to hear. So, when do you think I should come on? Let them all warm up first. You know what they say, a hot crowd is a cool crowd. No, I haven't heard that, but I think I know what you mean. <laughs> I think things are about to start happening. Let the party begin! Come in, Houston. We wait you. Start your engines. Oh. We have liftoff. OK, dudes, here is a big Von Hassel free welcome to the Von Hasselberg Dance Party! What do you think, Ben? Yeah, are we in the right groove? Ben. Uh. Sorry, guys, I'm not really sure. What do you mean you're not sure? Are we talking punk, metal, heavy rock? What type of crowd are they? I, uh, I, I think you'd better take a look. Honestly, Ben, it can't be that difficult to... Oh. My. Dog. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Tonight, our castle is your castle. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? He won't get away with it. No way. Right. Glad we cleared that up. Daddy, how could you? You wanted a crowd. I've supplied the crowd. Every one of them's paid 30 euros for a night of music under the stars. But we don't have the music they like. You don't. But I do. Golden classics for the young at heart. They love it. But why? Why sell all the tickets to old people? Why? To protect the castle, of course. Be reasonable, dear. We can't have hundreds of teenagers piling in here, madly thrashing about. Think of the chaos, the damage they could do. Daddy, this castle stood for a thousand years. I'm pretty sure it can survive a simple dance party. You'll thank me for this tomorrow. Believe me, darling. I guess that's me, then. I'm gonna go and change. I don't think these guys are gonna want to listen to the kind of music I play. Don't move an inch, Sam. We haven't lost yet. My father knows a lot of things, about a lot of things. But there's one thing he knows nothing about. Meaning? Meaning social networking. <laughs> Folks, another fabulous blast in the past. Should really get those red blood cells pulsing through your veins. <laughs> What's the difference between a catastrophe and a disaster? It's an interesting question when you think about it. And it looks like I've got plenty of time to think about it. Ben. Ben. Listening. What are we going to do? Oh, I thought, take up sewing? Bricklaying, maybe. That's great, Ben. But that's not going to help us get our survey done, is it? Uh, hang on a minute. I can't hear you with all the racket going on here. Oh, what's going on? You might be in luck, guys. I think the cavalry's just arrived. <laughs> Say you've invited them. What's going on? They've come to dance. Impossible. I, I want them out of here immediately. But they've bought tickets. How? I didn't sell them any. I did. Their receipts are all logged in here. You can check if you wish. When did this happen? Tonight. I asked my friends to ask their friends to come and help us out. Isn't their generosity wonderful? You've deliberately kept these people a secret from me. Only because you deliberately kept your people a secret from me. 
One false step, one broken window, one argument, and they all leave straight away. Clear? Perfectly, Daddy. <sighs> okay, Sam, you ready? Boy, will you and your dad be able to make this up? Of course, we always do. Now, come on, let's get this party happening. On my way. <laughs> to see the castle so lively. You've done yourself proud, darling. Don't blame me for any of this. This was all your daughter's doing. How come when you're cross with Lily, she's my daughter, but when she does something you approve of, she's your daughter? A uh, law of nature, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You look very nice tonight, my dear. Nice enough to dance, perhaps? Oh, dance? Me? You know what they say. If you can't beat them, come on. No. Come on. No. a lot more fun than listening to Rachmaninoff. Signed, D. Schultz, age 79. Goodness. OK, much better to dance to than Tchaikovsky. That was Mrs. E. Dortmer, aged 85. <laughs> oh, P.S. Sam rocks! Oh. <laughs> Seems like the Germans get some very interesting crowds at their dance parties. Yes, and clearly have some great taste in music. <laughs> Not that we'd ever really compare ourselves to Rachmaninoff or Tchaikovsky. No, I can't even spell them, let alone compete with them. <laughs> Your humility does you both proud. So does this mean we've passed, sir? It does. Please give my congratulations to Sam. And let her know that I'm very interested to see the video when she gets back. This Mrs. E. Dortmer in particular sounds quite the sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Success has been plucked from the jaws of defeat. I still reckon they've missed out on the main game, though. The big suit of armour. Now, that would have to be the ultimate winner of all time. Castle is fun. Although on nights like this, McCann feels seriously creepy. 
Not that I can complain. I mean, 200 years ago, the people here had no electricity or anything. Great. Trust me to open my big mouth. It's funny how people get freaked out about things. Take my best friends Jack and Lucy. You couldn't find two more sensible people. Until our movie nights, that is. Don't go down there, don't go down there. You two are pathetic. How can you seriously be scared by this? Shut up, Sam. You don't know what's gonna happen. Of course I do. It's the same formula every time. The killer knocks off people one by one till all that's left is the main girl, who just manages to get away. Oh, shush, Sam. Don't go in there. It's a trap. Stay away. Ah! Run! 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 <laughs> you are such a spoil sport, Sam. <laughs> He's like ah, so <laughs> hey, yes it is. <laughs> Lucy was right. I am a spoil sport. But I just can't take all that stuff about ghosts and vampires seriously. If Jack and Lucy were here, I know exactly what they'd be thinking about this place. Haunted? Of course it's haunted. Well, not haunted haunted, but you know, haunted. It's a castle, after all, and every good castle has its resident ghost. Well, if there is one around here, I hope he's a nice one. <laughs> Actually, it's a she. You're kidding. Not at all. <laughs> Recognize her? Vaguely. Should I? That's Princess Teresa, the character you played in my film. Oh, yeah. Right. She was desperately in love with a poor boy from the village, but she was promised as a bride to the Duke of Saxony. Oh, get away! A horrible man who she couldn't bear. There's no escaping, Princess! You will marry me! Never! It's pointless to defy me, Theresa. Do your duty and return to our wedding. If I can't marry the one I love, then I'll never marry at all. I command you! Never! No! And legend has it she's now a ghost. Yes. She's supposed to reappear every year on the anniversary of her death. Well, so we might get to meet her then. Has anyone actually seen her? Not that I know of, although some people claim to have heard her sobs coming from up in the attic. That's a great story. Ever thought of trying to commercialize it? Commercialize it? Like how? Like running a ghost tour or something. A ghost tour? Why not? We could hold candlelit tours at midnight, just through the summer. It'd be a great money spinner. Marcus, to hold a ghost tour, you'd need a ghost. If there's no ghost, people want their money back. No. All you have to do is make people think there's a ghost. Uh, Marcus, come on. Everybody knows ghosts aren't real. It's all about the power of persuasion. You can make people believe anything if you just set it up properly. Marcus, forget it. It won't work. Besides, Daddy would never allow it. Where is Daddy, by the way? I haven't seen him all morning. Grace. Where? If you care to open your eyes, Baron. My eyes are open, Herr Schiller, and I tell you, that's a stain on your glove. It's not grease. Of course it's grease. I know grease when I see it. I've been a health inspector for 25 years. I'm making my life miserable for every one of them. Actually, there's a bigger issue at hand than grease. Apparently, you have rats in this castle. Rats? What nonsense! Lady has complained she saw Ronan in your cafe. Yeah. Disgruntled tourists will say anything. I'm a fair man, Baron. And as such, I give you until tomorrow to fix this matter. Tomorrow? Yes. And if I come back and see any evidence of them, I'll have no choice but to close this castle down. And we can even put on fake cobwebs, create some real atmosphere. People are just too savvy these days, Marcus. They've seen all the tricks in the movies. Yes, but they keep going back for more, don't they? They are always willing to suspend disbelief. Not that much disbelief. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, Marcus, but you'll never persuade me you can create a truly scary experience here. I have to go to town. See you both later. Bye, Lily. Poor Marcus. Normally, I'm the first to support his bright ideas, but this one's way too over the top, even for me. What are you doing, Daddy? Ah, Lily, hasn't anyone warned you about sneaking up on people? Since when does entering the kitchen constitute sneaking? Uh, never mind. So what do you want, then? I'm going shopping with Mummy. Do you need anything in town? No, thank you. But do tell her I look forward to seeing her for dinner tonight. Will do.
What exactly are you doing? If you must know, I'm defending this castle's reputation against the onslaught of jump-up petty bureaucrats who try to ruin the livelihoods of the honest, hard-working people who keep this country going. Of course. I knew that. Bye, Daddy. Rats. There's never been a rat in this castle, ever. I think a ghost tour is a cool idea. Are you kidding? It's the worst idea ever. Why? Well, for a start, we'd be up against every theme park in Europe. There's no way we could compete. Ben, you know about wild animals, don't you? I do. You must. There are wild animals everywhere in Australia. <laughs> Only in football clubs. Why? I need an animal handler. Quickly. Ben once wrestled a crocodile. Really? Too delicate to thrash about with like that. I wasn't hurting it. Give it back to your cousins. It's their toy, not yours. Sorry, guys. You sound just the man for the job. Look, it wasn't a real crocodile. Maybe, but it's more than anyone else around here can boast. Come on. It was right there in the kitchen. A rat? It looked straight into my eye, daring me to chase it. And did you? The rat was too quick. That's why I need an expert. Uh, to be honest, I haven't had that much experience with rats. Don't worry, you soon will. Take these. What should I do with them? Set them up throughout the castle, but not a word to anyone else. No one must know there's a potential rat in the castle. A potential rat? I thought you said you saw it. Only you and I must ever know that. It's our secret, right? Uh, sure, yeah, whatever you say. Teamwork, Ben. Huh? Our combined strength will unite to overwhelm this vermin. Well, let's get to work. Hey, Jungle Jim, where have you been? And what was all that wild animal stuff about? Nothing. He just wanted me to set up some stuff. Set up what stuff? Ah, uh, you know, stuff. Boring, really. I'm going to take a bath and then hit the sack. Night. Night. Benny's such a hopeless liar. It's so obvious he's up to something. Oh well, small things amuse small minds. See what I mean? He is so lame. Ben? Stop being pathetic! Typical. This is his gormless attempt to try and pay me back for dropping the crocodile story. You are so predictable, Ben. Honestly, that dopey noise wouldn't fool a three-year-old. Oh, oh, Marcus. Sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, you just surprised me, that's all. I heard you calling out. Oh, it's just Ben. He's trying to freak me by making these stupid noises from the bathroom. What noise? That noise. Ha ha, Ben. If you're having toilet troubles, we can call a nurse, you know. But the noise didn't come from the bathroom. It came from upstairs. But if it wasn't Ben... Who was it? I'll go and get a torch. Wait here, I'll be back in a second. Investigate scary noises at night on your own. It's the classic horror movie setup, right? I can hear Lucy now. Oh no. Don't go in there. It's a trap. Stay away! But I know this is Ben. It just reeks of his B grade imagination. <laughs> then again, it doesn't actually sound like Ben. Maybe someone needs help? Sam, stop 
stop being such a wuss. Hello? Is anyone there? made your point, okay? You can stop kidding around. <laughs> Very funny. Really hilarious, Ben. Okay, I'm up for it. Let's see what your tiny mind's got in there. Time, Ben. Your team needs you. Um, a little late for tennis, isn't it? The enemy. I have it cornered. As soon as he shows himself, we'll strike. Come on. Someone! Let me out of here! It's okay. I'm coming. Get me out of here! Please, hurry! It's just dead. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not. She's here. Who's here? Goodness. Is this why you brought me here, Marcus? To show me how well you and Sam are getting on? Are you all right, Sam? You look like you've seen a ghost. I can't believe I'm about to say this. Actually, I think I just have. Are you sure it's down here? Positive. I locked the door when I saw it come in. There's no other way out. Well, how long do we have to wait for? Until we catch it. But what if it doesn't come out? Patience, Ben. No red ever ultramarted a human being. It will come out. <laughs> Very clever. And I'm guessing it's a similar system with the book? <sighs> but the girl. Girl? Where? Over there where the light's coming from. Oh my goodness. Who is she? Our very own Princess Teresa. But it can't be. A wig, a cape, <laughs> and a speaker. <laughs> Marcus, where did you get all this stuff? Leftovers from a robotics assignment I did last term. You set me up? I wanted to prove to Lily that a ghost tour would work. And to do that, I had to convince a real skeptic. So you used me? I honestly didn't think you'd fall for it so easily. Well, I must admit, I'm impressed. You certainly got Sam wound up. I've never seen her look so terrified. Thanks. A lot. Baron! What is it, Ben? If I don't go to bed soon, I'm gonna fall face first onto your flagstones. I suppose it is getting late. And at least we know the red is down here. Exactly. It's been locked up for years, hasn't it? It has. So the health inspector will never go searching in here. I mean, he'd have to be a complete idiot, wouldn't he? That, Ben, is exactly what I'm worried about. Frank can do with a good feed. It's uh, Lily's friend, actually. Uh, she wants the ghost to a set up by the weekend. So you really persuaded her then? Congratulations. Listen, about last night, I am really sorry. Forget it. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I just was angry with myself for getting sucked in so easily. So you're not still mad? Not at you, anyway. In that case, could I ask you for a hand? Especially as these ones aren't much use. <laughs> sure. He's such a handsome devil. How could I possibly resist? <laughs> now, are we quite clear about the plan? Yes, yes Baron. Baron. So, our tactics are? We kill him. Uh, with kindness. <laughs> In order to? Keep him away from the cellar. At all costs. At, At all costs. costs. Right, here he comes. Battle mm -hmm. stations, everyone. My dear Herr Siller, how marvelous to see you again. And looking in the peak of health, might I say. 
Don't think your salesman charm is going to work on me. I'm here always to do my duty. And happy we are to have such a conscientious man of law amongst us. Isn't that right? That's, That's right, right, Baron. Perhaps a little refreshment before you start? Coffee? No, thank you. Tea? Baron, bribes and compliments are neither necessary nor appreciated. Bribes? Bribes? <laughs> compliments? <laughs> compliments. <laughs> As if, my dear Schiller. <laughs> As if. Now that we've sorted that out, perhaps you and your youthful parrots will permit me to commence my inspection. Inspect away, Herr Schiller. You'll find no rats in this castle. I hope that's true. For your sake. Yeah. Um, can you pass me the timer, please? Mm, which one's that? The one that looks like a clock. Oh. If I'd used half my brain, I would have figured that out myself. There's nothing wrong with your brain. <laughs> Thanks. Coming from you, that's very flattering. Oh, coming from you, that's very flattering. Are you trying to outflatter my flatter? I wouldn't dare. <laughs> so, how long do you think this will take? I have to say, another hour or so. That's a lot of flattering to get through. Do you think you can cope? Well, I know there's a lot of flattering things you can say about me, but can I find enough flattering things to say about you? Oh, thank you very much. Hey, put that back on. Only if you apologize. I am deeply, deeply, deeply sorry. Is that all right? Perfect. So, a clean bill of health for the kitchen. Herr Schiller, exactly as I promised. We still have a long way to go, Baron, as I'm sure you know this is a large castle. Uh, oh, indeed, which is why we've prepared a little morning tea for you. Uh, Schiller? Thank you. These attempts to buy my goodwill are not going to work, you know? Oh, Herr, Herr Schiller, nothing could be further from my mind. Shall we resume in the library? What's in there? Where? There, where I'm pointing. I, I, I can't quite see exactly. The large door that's 25 meters in front of you and couldn't be missed by a blind man in a snowstorm. Oh, you mean there? Yes. What's in it? That's just the cellar. It's permanently locked. No one's been in there for years. It's filthy. Disgusting. A sewer. A morgue. Very well, then. Let's look at the library. Certainly, Herr Schiller. Right this way. Just a little lunch before you go. A cellar. I thought you said nobody had been in there for years. Pardon? Your cellar. Uh, oh, they were just testing the door, making sure that the hinges were rusted. I think they were inside. Impossible. Teenage boy and girl. What better place for young sweethearts to go than a room no one ever visits? Sweethearts? Those two, they, they, they barely know each other's names. If it's good enough for teenagers, it might also be good enough for a wreck. Honestly, Schiller, you're barking up the wrong tree, man! What's going on? I thought we managed to keep him away from here. I told you he was stupid, didn't I? Looks like he's outsmarted us, though. Thank you, Sophie. Some thoughts are better left unsaid, right? Yes, Baron, sorry. Is there a light switch, Shabra? Uh, halfway down the passage, there's a cord hanging from the ceiling. So how does it work? Simple. As soon as someone pulls the light cord, it all starts happening. He's locked in the cellar. I have to get a crowbar to get him out. Ben, don't worry. He's out. Ah, ah. How did you do that? Magic! Oh, my goodness! Are you all right? Ah. 
No, I'm definitely not all right. Congratulations, Herr Schiller. You're the first to experience our little cellar of horrors. I hope you're going to recommend it to other members of the public. I do no such thing. No member of the public will ever be permitted to enter that room ever. Why not? It's a death trap. You mean we'd have to close it before it's even open? Sooner. If it isn't, you'll have the police to deal with. We're running a madhouse here, Baron, and I'm only too glad to be out of it. Uh, uh, Schiller! Oh, uh, what? Does that mean you're not having found any rats? We passed the inspection? Or would you like to take a look in the old dungeons? You haven't seen them yet. Nor do I wish to. Any rat that has to endure living in this place deserves nothing but sympathy. I'd be very grateful. All of you. Until next year, Hesila. Don't be a stranger now. Well, I don't know about you lot, but I could do with some tea. What about the rat, Baron? With all of us here, we should be able to catch it now. No. Let him be. I'm actually grown quite fond of the little fellow. <laughs> <laughs> So after all that, the Great Ghost Tour never got off the ground. Pity, really. I was just starting to think it might actually work. But not everything about that week was a complete write-off. And one development in particular showed signs of definite promise. Hi. Hi. You look beautiful. Thanks. So do you. No, not beautiful. You know what I mean. <laughs> Come on in. Do you like it? It's fantastic. It must have taken forever to lug all of this upstairs. I figured I owed you after setting you up like I did. Well, this more than makes up for it. Thank you. Here's to our ghosts. Real and imagined. <laughs> Come on, Marcus, you can't fool me again. Seriously? It's not me.